Welcome back to Running Shoes Guru. My name is Brandon and today I'm reviewing the On Cloud Monster. On puts the word cloud in most of the names of their running shoes. And for me, this is really misleading because running in on shoes feels nothing like running on clouds. And in actual fact, on shoes have felt on the firmer side to me compared to other brands. Take for example, the Cloudflow 3, which was my last pair of on shoes. That shoe I used mostly for casual wear after testing it because the ride felt so flat and firm. Cloud Tech is a midsole technology which On has tried to make work trainer after trainer. But it's a really gimmicky technology similar to Nike's Air Max or Asics's Gel. I would never have recommended an On pair of running shoes to you before the Cloud Monster. Because On running shoes are expensive for what you get and their performance is somewhat lacking compared to the competition in terms of energy return and cushioning. Now the Cloud Monster is a brand new maximalist running shoe from On and it's got a rocket and a protective ride. They state on the website that the Cloud Monster has monster level cushioning. Now monster level cushioning is one level above maximum cushioning so the Cloud Monster is designed to be On's softest, most cushioned trainer. It weighs 275 grams or 9.7 ounces for men's US 9. And that's somewhat a competitive weight for the maximalist category. It's got a 6mm drop with 30mm in the heel and 24mm in the forefoot. The first time I walked around in the Cloud Monster, it reminded me a lot of the Nike Vapor Max because it's got these cloud pods at the bottom of the shoe and as you walk around you can feel each segment compress similar to the air bubbles on the bottom of the Vapor Max. My first run was an easy run and what struck me was how much faster it felt than I thought it was going to feel. It didn't feel super soft and squishy like some Max Cushion trainers but it felt very balanced, like a daily trainer. The upper comfort and foot lockdown was amazing, and the ride also felt very well cushioned. Although transitions didn't feel very smooth because of these cloud pods at the bottom of the outsole. But the Cloud Master felt great from the get-go with no break-in period needed. The Cloud Master still uses On's regular standard Helion midsole foam. But the difference with the Cloud Monster is that it's a much higher midsole stack height. So it allows for a higher rate of compression. And the Helion midsole foam doesn't actually return that much energy, but it's the way the midsole is constructed that allows for the energy return. With the Cloud Monster, there's a single layer of clouds in the midsole, and each large cloud has a large hole in it. And this results in a much softer underfoot feel than some of the other Max Cushion trainers which have a dual layer of clouds with the small cloud having a small hole in it. I enjoy the Cloud Monster most for easy paced runs and slightly faster steady paced runs. It can handle slow paces above 6 minutes per kilometer as well as moderate efforts all the way down to 4 minutes 30 per kilometer because of how snappy it feels. And it's this large pace range that makes the Cloud Monster such a great versatile daily trainer. It's got a speed board in its midsole and this speed board acts as a flexible plate similar to what you find in the Endorphin Speed and the Nike Tempo Next Percent. So this makes the forefoot snappy and it allows you to pick up the pace much easier. There are five rows of clouds which form the Cloud Monster's outsole. And there's rubber coverage on the rear foot as well as on the forefoot. So the high wear areas do have a bit of protection. I've noticed accelerated wear on the usual area for me, this outer lateral heel area. 
as well as on the center of the rear foot that's not covered with any rubber. And one thing you should know about the Cloud Monster is that it's not a tough workhorse like the Infinity Run 3 or the Triumph 19 because it just doesn't have as much outsole rubber as those shoes. So you can, con you can expect a considerably lower outsole lifespan. Grip, however, is very good because of this exposed soft midsole foam. It's quite tacky on most surfaces. On rarely disappoints with their uppers, and the Cloud Monster is no different. The fit is incredibly comfortable, and the insides feel velvety smooth. The big difference between the Cloud Monster and other Max Cushion trainers is that the Cloud Monster's upper doesn't feel overbuilt and it doesn't have an excess of padding. It's got a flat burrito style tongue which wraps around the foot and is connected on both sides so there's no tongue slide. Now even though the tongue is flat and thin, it doesn't let through the lacing pressure on the top of the foot and it also doesn't feel out of place like the Nimbus 24's flat knitted tongue. It's got enough padding in the heel tab and the collar to provide excellent comfort while an internal heel counter makes sure that your rear foot is locked in and supported. I didn't experience any heel slippage in the Cloud Monster. The fit of the Cloud Monster runs a half size large so I suggest going down a half size because it's got extra length in the forefoot. It's got a very narrow midfoot, forefoot and toe box and it's also got a very shallow toe box but I didn't find it uncomfortable. This is definitely not a shoe for wide footed runners or high volume feet. The Cloud Monster is designed to be a max cushion trainer but it doesn't have the plushness or the marshmallow soft ride of some of the other max cushion trainers. The Cloud Monster still doesn't deliver that pillowy soft cloud-like ride that on promises. But the Cloud Monster is however a great versatile daily trainer. My favorite thing about the Cloud Monster is how unique its ride feels. There's no other running shoe on the planet that feels similar to the Cloud Monster. So it's got tons of character. If you've always wanted to try an on running shoe, this is the one that you must try. It's got a ride which is really engaging and innovative and it's highly compressible midsole makes it fun to run in while it doesn't feel at all mushy. At 170 US dollars the Cloud Monster isn't worth its recommended retail price. It should be around 150 dollars because it's on par with the Glide Ride 3 for me. It does have a really premium Swiss build quality, but for $170 it needs to be something really special. With the Cloud Monster, On has finally managed to improve the Cloud Tech recipe. It still doesn't feel like running on clouds, but it's a big step in the right direction. If you've run in previous On shoes and you've been disappointed, but you're willing to give the Cloud Monster a try, let us know down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the review and please like the video and subscribe to Running Shoes Guru.